uh, see how this goes. <clears throat> All right. Poor Edgar's not here. Sad, isn't it? So this is kind of like, make sure we're all on the same page. This is like a multiplication chart. We didn't fill out all the numbers because <clears throat> if we had a number that big, we'd probably be using a calculator. But over here, this is the exponent, and these are the bases. And so like 6 to the third power is 216, and like 9 to the third power is 729, or 4 to the fifth, right? <clears throat> okay. Now why that is useful is because we're simplifying rational exponents like that. And these two things are the same, but this notation is pretty ugly. It's hard to figure things out. This is easy. Okay. So here's what this means. Our base is like the big number on the bottom, right? And the thing you got to look at first is you look at the denominator. And the denominator is kind of like asking a question. It's asking like what number um, times itself this many times equals the base. And then whatever the answer to that is, you raise that answer to that number. So like for example, 2401 is right here, right? And that's nice because this is the fourth power. So this one right here, just that four, this four right here, it's asking what number times itself four times equals this. And I can see in my chart, exponent of four, 2401, that's seven, right? So then the answer to this first question, seven. So we take seven and we cube it, and we get 343. That's it. That's kind of clunky. I like the other way like I showed you guys last time, right? Like, I have to recognize that this is a fourth power right here. This number right here is a fourth power. And I guess I could just like look at that number and then go to my exponent and see if I have that number. If I don't, I got some work to do. But if it's there, it's easy. So like, here, here's how it works. This one goes 7, and then the next step is 49, and the next step is 343 and then we arrive at 2401. So this is like step one, step two, step three, step four. And that's our answer right there. It's the third out of four steps to get to that with repeated multiplication. And this is by seven every time. So that's seven, this is seven times seven. Yeah. What do you think, Alexa? Well, it, looks it, looks, it looks easy this way. Yes. But I did it and you didn't, right? Mm -hmm. That might sound rude, but that's not what I meant. As meant it's always harder when you have to make the decision. So let's, should we try one? Yes. yes. <gasps> For sure. <sighs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Hmm. What if. Man, I'm looking for a tricky one. Oh, here, we're going to try this. What if we did... What if we did... Well, yeah, let's just do that. 1296 to the... What if we did the one-fourth power? Six. Seven. No, mentiras. Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six, right? Because you just see that's the fourth power. Here's all the fourth powers. It's that one. It's six. The first step is six. So what if it was twelve and six? To a different power? To four over six. Oh. So twelve ninety six. What? Is that in the To the s to the what? Four over four six, six power. Ah, well, four over six reduces, right? To the one third power. 4 over 6, or 2, sorry, 2 thirds power. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So that, would, so that would just be... Yeah, it's not going to, it's going to be a decimal. Mm -hmm. Like if it's not on this chart, mm -hmm. well, I mean, okay. There's a lot of numbers that aren't on that chart. But if like our number range is like, if it fits in here, like if our number's in a range of here, and it's not on the chart, then it's going to be a decimal. And this would be a decimal. Yeah, I don't have my trusty calculator with me, but we can figure out. Oh, I can figure it out on the computer, right? Maybe. 
Oh, let's see, 1296, right? Yes. Um, oh, this one, 1296, oh, huh. And then where's parentheses? Did you say two over three, is that right? Yeah. Which makes sense. So this is like 10.9, and that actually makes sense because what's the the cube root of a thousand? What times itself three times equals a thousand? Well, that'd be 10, right? This is a little bit more than 10. So it kind of makes sense that that would be a good approximation. Want to try another one? Okay. You want to try a tricky one? Yes. No? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You sure? Okay. Uh, hmm, hold on. I got it. Oh, we'll do two. We'll do two. Hold on. I got it. Here, I'll, I'll get you started on the first one, and then I'll, I'll write the second one. And you guys have this chart? Yes. Okay. Let's do um, 256 to the... 3 fourths power, but let's do that. <coughs> oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That's rude. I'm sorry. Try it. Go ahead. I think you can figure it out. You'll see. I have faith in you. Especially you, Ivan. Eight. What? No. What? Eight. Eight? What? Huh? <laughs> Eight? I don't know. Do you guys agree with her or disagree? Or not yet? You're not ready yet. You know what you mean, you just don't know how to say it. Right. Exactly. You sound like an angry mother. <laughs> sort of. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. You okay. guys know what I mean. That's besides the point. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, right. So what about this part, just this part right here? 64. Do you guys agree that's 64? Yes. Yeah? So 260, 256, and it was the third, place. The third fourth, the, so three fourths, so the yeah. Third so good? Yes. Okay. So 260. Okay. And the square root of 64? Eight. Eight. Told you. Okay, now watch. Check this out. Yeah. We could do the same thing. <laughs> 256 to the 3 fourths. But that's actually raised to the 1 half power. Yes. Because there's an invisible 2 there and a, and a 1 there. Like, that's how it works. That's how it works. Eight as well when it's going to be eight either way, right? Yeah. Right. But do you see how like this is this is how it works, right? So if there's no number there, it's a two, and if there's no number there, it's a, there's really a one. So this is really um, right, right. So like that. So this is three eighths. Two fifty six one half times three fourths is three eighths. <gasps> and check this out. I don't have it on my chart. What's that times two? Sixty-four. No, times two. <laughs> two fifty-six. See? 
three. So, so, so why, why did that turn into a three and three? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why did what? Why did that turn into three eighths? Three eighths because one half times three fourths is three eighths. Because when you raise a power to a power, you multiply them. Like, like, watch, like, say we had. Oh, you're just multiplying three times one and four times two. Yeah. So you multiply three, three fourths times one eight, one half, you get three eighths. Mm -hmm. So two fifty six is the eighth power of two. And we need, we need three eighths, right? So eight. the third power of two is eight. It still works either way. You good with that? Yeah? Okay, you want to see the ugly one? 